Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Right. How long have you been sober? Keeping it shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. There we go, a little hope. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. Oh, okay. oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? James, you know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. There's oh, alcoholic problems. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough You're this is? You're not the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. <laughs> not tonight. No way. I had a great time, and I really enjoyed the ride. Always happy to give you a ride. You're funny. Me? <laughs> I gotta get away from here and my wonderful family. It's creepy, like, this house. right now. Come on. They're not that bad. You don't live with them. Catch you tomorrow. Sure. Sounds good. Okay. Damn, 
ice. Number one, Dad. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. Heard that so many times, they sound like a broken record. Same thing again and again. It might help if you actually gave a fuck, you know, <sighs> for once. Get over yourself. Nothing new here. They've been arguing since we were in diapers. Well, if you were in diapers, I was better trained. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the hey, attic? some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. It's crawled up his ass. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! It's not near it, though. <laughs> oh, there she is. Jesus! You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. I've been creepy about that girl. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? It just upsets me. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I'm not surprised. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. OK, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where is the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her if you don't have other plans. I'll go find her. Hey, Mom? You there? Nope, not that one. Megan. Oh, she had a key, so it's... Oh, hang on, the ladder. Dennis? You still up there? What do you want? Just want to know how my sweet brother is doing. Not so good. Bigfoot clumsy ass stomped all over my records. She's your baby sister. Anyways, looks like she's got better taste in music than you. Let's try this side. Oh, hang on. What's that? Got a diary. Okay. Which nosy going to be dead some little shit has been peeking at my diary?
that one. That one. Twenty more. Nope, that's not. Done those two doors, so the next one is this one. Yeah, again, another locked door. Yeah, what's this? Never understood his fascination with this stuff. What are you talking about? They don't care. They're not interested. They don't see me. To them, I'm invisible. That isn't right at all. I'm not doing that. Oops. You should still get to that's good. No, I get blamed for everything. It's not fair. Hey, Megan. What's up? Not listening. Hey, who are you talking to? To someone who actually cares about me. Used. What are you talking about? Jesus. What was that? You see that? I'm gonna get shut out, isn't she? What the hell? Megan. Getting everyone out of the house. You could it? be right about my family. I think so too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan!
what she's trying out. Tanya, hold on! I gotta get Megan out! Won't you spare me over till another Copyright music. Oops, now they changed language. Hey, up that Lord, how's it going? Guess there is none.
go. Ah, oh, you're back. Interesting. Excuse me for my... Life is as tedious as a twice-told tale, vexing the dull ear of a drowsy man. True, if the story has been told fully, completely. But the truth of this story isn't fixed. Far from it. A story can change a great deal when told from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. What's going to change? A chance to walk in different shoes, make fresh choices, discover new things. <laughs> Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. Mm -hmm. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much. Yeah. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the before, decisions that uh, you make. Lord. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh. One final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, mm -hmm. something that may, one, that I didn't. or may not happen. Use them. They I think that was the help. first story I was trained was. Um, you have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. What's it called now? Hmm. Um, maiden or something. I think it was. On Meadow, something like that. Anyway, it's one of these series. So let's get this into it. Right. Oh, there's a crow. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace.
Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ah, oh, there he is. That must be Daniel. Fuck. Where's my phone? Okay, you don't look so good. I'm fine. Careful, There's no rush. Don't be such an old woman and help me up. <sighs> Not sure I'm the old woman here. What happened? Not sure what went down back there. Everything happened so fast. Slow down. Breathe. You're in shock. You seem real calm. Not my first accident, Daniel. Have you seen any of our classmates? Or our hotshot professor? Let's go. Hey! Anyone up there? Hey! Daniel, that you? John! Good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right. Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. Okay. That looks bad. I hope Taylor is okay. Taylor will be just fine. Girl has a knack for getting out of trouble. I know Taylor can be demanding, selfish, quarrelsome, and small-minded, but other than that, she's a real babe. Lay off Taylor. She's done nothing to you. I'm thinking I'm gonna file charges against the college. For what? Having a bad night? The college are responsible for our safety. This nightmare is negligence. Not only have we crashed accident. in the middle of nowhere, we're saddled with Jumpy John as our way out. That's kind of harsh, don't you think? Harsh? My lawyer is harsh. By the time he's finished litigating the college, we'll be begging to pay out millions. You coming? Yeah, let's go then. Hey, Daniel, you guys! I am not a guy. How are you two doing down there? This trail is the pits, but we're okay. This little detour is ruining my clothes. That's the headline here? Your clothes are ruined? Really? Easy. That outfit probably cost more than you earned in your life. You have no idea how right you are. At least someone here has some taste. Ooh. Hey, what's happening here? Not much. I'm just keeping their spirits up. Daniel, you got your phone? Mine's got zero signal. I guess it fell out during the crash. Are you staying here all night? We're gonna keep moving. I cannot stand water. Ever since I was a kid, no way I'm crossing over. We nearly got mangled in a bus crash. And you're worried about getting wet? You don't understand. This outfit cost a fortune. And? There's nothing to it. Just follow me. Come on, it's easy. Oh, God, I hate this. That's it. Keep going. You got it. 
Hell, I wish this was over. So, you can be a gentleman after all. Thanks. Oh, no, you need What is it? I don't get it. What exactly do you see in that girl? Yeah, not the time. Taylor? This really the time to be getting into her? Given the mess we're in? Uh, yeah. I'd say now is the perfect time. You've been drooling over her ever since we left. There's nothing between me and Taylor. You're dreaming. You've been eyeing her the same way a kitten looks at a bowl of cream. I don't stare at women that way. You must be thinking about your ex-husband. <laughs> My ex-husband isn't like you. Yeah, let's keep going that way. You're wrong about me. My interest in you and Taylor has nothing to do with what's going on with me. I was just trying to help. That pylon has to be near a road. Probably the one back into town. What you get? <clears throat> good to see you two. We finally made it. Everything okay? We're both good, but this gate is chained. We can't get through. Just climb over. Now what do we do? Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Just put clothes over the barbed wire. Think this will do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one. Push. <laughs> uh, fucking thing. Holding out good for a rusty chain. Let's give it another go. Two, one. Push. Here, let me have a shot. You ready? Three, two, one. Now that's how it's done. All right, one second. What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Bad story so far. The house has been burning, now we're in Little Hope. The story's about to progress. Well, that's um, gone off for a second, the app. Fix that. Got to uh, uh, plug it in, realise. Oops. Oh, that's the Elgato, that's now running again. That one it should now be. Connecting. There we go. Right, we're still uh, ready to go. Let's go back to the stream. That's my bad. The uh, heart monitor went off. I didn't plug in the uh, device on the Elgato. There we go. I can slide along. Let me put the grip pad on. One second. Right, let's go back to this. Self plug it in. Sounds like <laughs> a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more?
Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. We just, uh, wait a second. Let's got the right in about twenty twenty four. You're kidding. That's better. He's not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. Keep out of our business, okay? You take yourself too seriously. Under right. Understand. You're right, I'm sorry. It's got nothing to do with me. We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some help. How about you? You want to head back to the bus with me? Thing is, I think going into town is probably our best shot at finding help. Go to the town, I'll wait Fine. on the bus. Come on, Taylor, don't check out on us. It's a bad idea to be out here walking around alone. Come with us. Don't worry about me. I'll flag down the first car I see and come get you all real soon. Come with us. Are you kidding me? I'm not going anywhere. away from you! Uh-huh. So you thought better of going it alone then? Why'd you come back? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Lost in a world of her own. What the hell are you playing at? You going or not? Hey, wait. What are you doing? Taylor. Look out! What the? What's going on with you? Why do you keep coming back? I'm not coming back! I walk straight out every time. It's like, I don't know, I can't fucking leave or something. Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. the back of the fence again. I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. It's not possible. It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay, do? calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. You can't understand this. Don't you get that yet? What I do understand is none of us would fucking be here if it wasn't for you. You think I'm to blame? I don't want to be stuck here with you either. Nice. You're the guy in charge. We're definitely fucked. Right now, the fog appears to be in charge. Anyone but you, right? Do us all a big favor and get lost in the fucking fog. I wish I could Please believe me. stop. Fighting isn't going to help. Where do we go now? We're fucked! We're not getting out of here! Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up! Maybe, Maybe it isn't real. real. We have to get out of here right I need to think straight. Right now. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. 
We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. Mm -hmm. There is nothing on the bus today. we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Hey, let's do that then. Oh, there's a cap. There it is. Just went that way. Did you all see that? What was that? That's some least... person. Some... I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Thanks for backing me up earlier. With Taylor. Not a problem. We're all a little twitchy right now. Maybe back off everyone a little, huh? What's up? I'm sure I've seen that before somewhere. Like where? Nothing unusual. Are you all right? You look pale. I'm a little concerned. You blacked out for a while after the crash. Yeah, I'm not sure. Still a little spaced out here. Well, concussion can scramble your memory. He'll most likely come back to you. We standing here all night, or we going inside? So we're going inside. What else can we do? Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. Let's take a look around. Maybe find a phone or something, yeah? What's bugging you? All I'm asking is we take a look. I can't do this. You need to make your mind up. Make my mind up about what? Me. I'm not running around after you like some lapdog. Sorry, I know I can sound tough sometimes, but what happened back there really got to me. It freaked me out, too. I just... I wish I was better at knowing what's going on with you. Come on, you already know. Hey, take a look at this. How about a game? Let's throw a few. May take our minds off the fog. Really? It seems pretty lame to me. You scared I'll whoop your ass?
warm up with an easier shot. Go for... I just realized the music's still playing in the background, isn't it? Oops. Single 20. Yes. <laughs> Beginner's luck. Try for double seven. You're still shook up a little. <sighs> At least my eyesight seems okay. Great shooting. Go for the bullseye with your last dart. I am not having a good night. Two out of three. Not so bad. Kind of weird, right? Stuck her with these guys because of that fog. How do you feel about all this shit? I don't really know. We're not having a great night, that's for sure. But I guess it could have been worse. No names? But some around here could do with being taken down a notch or two. What's on your mind? They think I'm an idiot. No one believed me about the fog. Then, hey, presto, they get lost too. And it's like, oh, maybe Taylor was right after all. I don't think you're an idiot at all. Far from it. Thanks, Daniel. We should go and check out what's happening. <sighs> He's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. This place is a bust. There's nothing for us here. For once I agree. The sooner we're gone from this dreadful place, the better. I could care less about ancient history. Christ, this is practically parchment from the 70s. Oh shit. I'd really like to leave this place now. Can we just get out of here? Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did... you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was, Came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. I come to Creepy Central just to get a top up. What does that mean?
heading into Little Hope feels like our only option. I'm not so sure about that. Where else can we go? I have a bad feeling about this. Well, let's get this. We'll figure it out. The way this fog just appears, it's not natural. Uh, what's that? That's not weird. That is one messed up looking pile of something. What the hell is this thing? Looks like some kind of effigy. A warning, perhaps. Or some other spiritual significance. Whatever it is, it gives me the creeps. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about it. That fog has affected more than your sense of direction. Your imagination's also out of control. I'm not superstitious, but stuff like what happened to us with the fog? Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. Can you two make an effort to keep up? Yep, I'll go in. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? There she is. Andrew, can you come over? What is it? I just saw someone out in the woods. Really? Well, maybe it was the bus driver. So a child. What I saw out there was a child. If there was anyone out there, they've gone now. All I see is trees. You two, we need to stick close. What the hell? Is that click? Did you hear that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Let's oh. keep walking. What is it? It's a doll, isn't it? Not a voodoo doll, is it? I'm not sure. Let me take a closer look. Your name, sir. Who are you? <laughs> Pray tell me your name, lady. Blind. Angela. I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play? 
come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see what you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Someone else out here by the fire. What? I, I don't see oh, any fire. fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? How can you not have seen that? I couldn't see anything through this impossible, impenetrable fog. Well, go ahead. Tell them what we saw. A little girl appeared out of the fog, and then just like that, she was gone again. What is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. I said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... she talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. Hey, road into town it is. Escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, Spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Mm. Anyway, okay. where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps... He represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You helped make some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful. More than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Okay, find the bus driver. I know it's been unsettling, but we're gonna get out of this. Unsettling my ass? Unsettling is way back over the border somewhere. What went down back there? Not sure, but whatever it was scared the crap out of them. 
We better keep an eye on them. Oh, there's a car there. Yeah, nothing with the car. Something here, though. Oh, jeez. Getting a flash. Into the future, I guess. Wow. something. You see that? Some big ass animal. I hope Damn. so. If not, what the fuck? Might get a better view from up there. A ghost town at the northeast. Who writes this trash? How you doing? Not sure. Still can't get my head around what happened back there. Lost you in the fog. Sorry. Shows we need to stick together. For sure we do. What is out there? Be sure. Stick together and we'll make it through this. Thanks. I appreciate you talking to me. Sound like someone's bunny. What's that? Oh, it's a play. Historical society meetup. That explains the old fashioned clothing they saw. Are you for real? Come on. Historical society? Get out of here. Bit weird, isn't it? There she is again. He's going in between worlds, I guess. Right, we made it to um, Bridge, I guess. Hey, something up ahead. 
fiddle school. Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! Will it go again? I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? Maybe we should be heading back now. Ah! Uh. You okay? I'm fine. Hello, fine. We have to do something. What the hell do you suggest? Both of us should go. Sure. Let's do this. Hey! You two! <gasps> this is not good. Oh, okay, let's go see what this girl's doing. Don't go! Stay away! What the hell are you? What do you want? Look. That's impossible. You look like that. Yeah, you look like that. Yeah. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions. Curious. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am not going into that godforsaken town. Not now, not ever. We were going before. Why the sudden change of heart? Look, I get that you're spooked, but we can't let that throw us off. We stick together and stick to the plan. I know exactly where you can stick your plan. What we just saw was too much for me. I am going nowhere. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize. And most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Never split, so. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never, ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. I'm with John. I'm with Taylor. Seriously? You want to go with her? Okay, for me, this is a bad idea. Very bad. I'll team up with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us.
just you and me, kid. I'm glad you stuck with me. You picked the winning team. Hold up. You hear that? The old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. So now we've got to get to the road. I'm going to leave that here. Be right back in a second. Let's try and get to tonight's uh, game on. So let's uh, 